everyone, it's Alice Bazaar here. Sorry I've been a bit quiet, but I am on my final year of university and we've got a dissertation in, we've got a final hand in, so it's been pretty busy. So, apologies now. But um, this video is actually going to be about wigs, because I own a fair few wigs. I know a few people who are like concierge of wigs and wear them all the time and stuff, but I just really enjoy them and just like wearing them out and about. But um, quite a few people ask me what is the best way to put on a wig and um, to hide your hair, which incidentally is actually quite an easy thing to solve and quite easy to find out, but um, I thought I'd just show you. Basically, when you buy a wig online or anything, usually it'll come with a wig cap but if not, you can purchase a wig cap like really easily, like like on eBay for like 99p. You can get them in hair shops and things like that. So this is what a wig cap usually looks like. They come in packets like that look a bit like this. So that's often a packet that comes that it comes in, and it comes in the sleeve inside, and it bit it looks a bit like a um, a bit like an old um, tie actually. And if you don't, if you if you really really last minute need to make something like this, just cut a pair of tights. Like cut the um, the body bit off it, or the sock bit off. It looks it works just as well because basically what you do is you just whack whack this on and stuff all your hair. You end up looking a bit silly, but you look fabulous in a minute. Basically, if it's a lot easier for me because I've got short hair, but if you've got long hair, the best thing to do is put it in a bun then you don't have any loose bits hanging out but um, saying that if you um, rather than like a tight ball if you can put it in like one of those sort of flat ones like even if it's just a little bit messy it ends up sitting better rather than having like see how mine's like this rather than having like like an egg-shaped cone type thing you know so I have a new wig of mine that I got the other day, just to showcase. Right, if you're getting a nice quality wig, or even even if it's not nice quality, but just well nicely made, you, you can usually see where the front is. So this one's a bit funny to see because the front's here, but if you turn a wig's inside out, wigs often have this weft and weave thing going on, and a lot of the time you'll get these things, which basically what you do is with these you when you're wearing it you tighten it and then you hook it onto each other and that tightens it to your head so it fits your head really nicely but that also indicates if you don't know which one's the back that this little bit here usually indicates where the back of your head is so that's just a little um useful thing i learned um so what you do is the best thing to do is to lean forward and just because because your hair's all in place, you don't have to worry about holding your hair back. So what you do is you just pop it on like that. So if you want to hold the front down, that's a good way as well. Pull it down. Tighten the back. If you can see, I'm sorry if you can't see right now. The back is tightened on each itself like that. If you can see, like that. And you flatten it down. Have a mirror at hand. And just adjust the pine to where you want it to be. Because sometimes it can be middle pine and it not quite work. So this one is an anime cosplay wig. So it's designed to be a bit in your face and a bit messy and things. But just for this, I'm going to brush it out the side. And I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna tuck that in. Ah, oh, fuck it. Right, there we go. A wig, also, if you don't like the volume a wig um, gives when you first get it, a, um, an easy trick for that is to, um, is to just either use a hair tie, or um, a hair band, or even a clip. For example, this, as you can see, the, the fringe is completely in the way. But what you can do is you can just clip it back 
And you see how much, how different that makes a wig. So I hope that helped in some way. Um, basically, wig cacks will help so much with putting wigs on. And if not, find a pair of tights. Find a really big sock. Um, something can help with that. So I hope that helped a little bit. And that's my tip, tip and trick for the day. Bye.